everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the British English Podcast. My name is Teacher Rob. And I'm Hannah. It's lovely to see you all today. So, Hannah, um, how are you doing today? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, I'm very excited because I'm going to a Chinese restaurant tonight. Very nice. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Why did you pick a Chinese restaurant? Well, I've been there before. I went there a few weeks ago um, with some friends, but I'm taking my fiancé and a friend of mine. Um, they they haven't been there yet, so I'm really, really excited to take them there. Cool. It's called Duck Shack. <laughs> and they, they, do, um, they do really good duck and other things, but their duck is really, really good. So... That's fantastic. Yeah. Mm. How are um, you? Yeah, very well. Um, so, actually, I've uh, been to a Chinese restaurant as well recently. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, because um, because my my wife is Chinese, and oh, it's yeah. it's quite close to their Chinese uh, New Year, Lunar New Year, mm. and so so about a a week before the actual day, they tend to have like a a kind of trial dinner. <laughs> you know, before the oh. before the super serious dinner. So yeah, we went to a lovely Chinese restaurant with uh, with a couple of friends of ours. Had some no duck, unfortunately, but uh, still had some very delicious food and a lovely time. Nice. And do you have any plans for Lunar New Year? Uh, yes. So with the same friends, because uh, the the two friends are um, one of them is a Western guy like myself, and the and the girl is from Beijing. So I think we're going to either go over to their house or have them over to our house, and we're going to make lots and lots of dumplings and get fat and happy. It's going to be wonderful. Sounds great. Yeah, mm. sounds perfect. Um, I had um, Nepalese dumplings on Sunday evening. My word. Um, yes. Um, I don't know if. I probably haven't told you, but my mum is actually Nepalese. Really? Um, yeah, she's from Nepal. My dad's English, but my mum is from Nepal or Nepal, as people might know it. Uh -huh. um, so um, I went out for Nepalese food on Sunday. So this is a very restauranty week for me. Um, but yeah, Nepalese dumplings are called Momo or Momos, we call them. And they're delicious. So I really, really recommend them if you've never had them before. Sure. Um, yeah. What do they usually have in the dumplings, like meat or vegetables, that kind of thing? Yeah, pork is quite common. My mum makes them with pork. Um, vegetables they do. I had buffalo momos, actually, um, on Sunday. And they, they're they really tasty. Yeah, they're really, really good. Buffalo, yeah. fantastic. Mm. But yeah, you don't see that every day. Mm. I don't know, maybe in Nepal you do, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yaks mostly, so, but yeah. <laughs> so it's um it's interesting that you said you uh you the connection to your family there uh mm. there because today's podcast is all about family. And what we'll be looking at is some phrases you can use to talk about your relationship with family members and also ways that you can refer to certain family members as well. Absolutely. Mm. Great. So um, the first phrase we're going to talk about is get on. So this is a phrase that um, whenever I use it in my classes, my students say, what? Do I get on? What? So we thought we'd talk about it today. Um, to get on with someone means to have a good relationship with them where you know in your family if you get on with your parents it means you like speaking with your parents or you enjoy spending time with them you have a good relationship so people might ask the question do you get on with your family or do you get on well with your brothers or sisters and you can reply to this um, by saying, yes, I get on with my family, or yeah, I, I get on well with my family, or no, I don't get on with my family. Absolutely. Um, a similar phrase to this one is get along with. Now, it's got exactly the same meaning as get on with, and people might ask you the question, do you get along with your family? 
Um, and to that, quite similarly, you can just say, yes, I, I get along with my family, or I get along great with my family, or if it's the case, you can say, no, I, I don't get along with my family. Great. Um, yeah, another way we can talk about the relationship we have with our family is by using the word close. So um, a lot of you already use this word, that's great, but just make sure that you don't say close to each other. Um, that kind of means more like you're standing next to each other. So we just usually say close or close with someone. So if you're close with your family, it means you care a lot about them and they care a lot about you. Someone might ask you, um, are you close with your family? Um, or are you and your family close? And you can say, yes, yeah, we're, cl we're close or we're quite close or we're very close um, or no, we're, we're not very close, sadly. Yeah, the, the, the close one is really interesting. I had a student two days ago and I asked her this question, are you close mm. uh, with, your, with your family? And she said, oh, yes, we live in the same city. And I had to explain. Oh no 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 no! I don't mean are you are you near to to them? So it's yeah. it's not the same as being near. Easy right. to confuse those two. Yeah. And it's also quite useful to know some of the more advanced ways to describe family members. So I'm I'm sure all all our listeners they'll be very used to the different words such as brother and sister, cousin, grandpa, grandma things mm. like this, but there's one that's a little less common, and that is you can talk about your mother, father, sister, or brother-in-law. Now, in law, that means that you are related to this person because of marriage. So, if you are married, your partner's mother would be your mother-in-law, and your partner's father would be your father-in-law, and so on with brother-sister. And we can put all these different people into a group just called in-laws. So I could say, oh, I'm spending the weekend with my in-laws. Yeah, so that would be your wife's family, right? Exactly, that's right. Yeah, nice. Great. Um, so... We'll give you some examples, some conversations now, about how we might talk about family using the phrases that we've just talked about. Okay? Yes. Hi, Rob. How are you? Hi, Hannah. I'm great, thanks. How's it going? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, I, um, I'm doing well. I, um, I recently saw my family. Oh, that's great. And do you get on with your family? Well, now I do. Um, when we were younger, we didn't always get on. Um, I I didn't get on well with my sister when when I was young, but now now that we're older, we get on really well. Um, and yeah, it's the same with my parents. We didn't always get on when I was young, but we get along really well now. I'm older. Mm. How about you? Are you close with your family? Um, so I'm close with my mum but I'm not that close with my dad. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. That's okay. I mean, uh, I definitely know what you're saying about, it can be different when you're, when you're young. Uh, so my, uh, I have a brother myself. It's very easy when you're young to uh, compete with, mm. your, uh, with your brothers or sisters, uh, but I have a great relationship with my mum and my brother now as an adult. Oh, that's great. Is your brother older or younger than you? He's two years older. Two years older. Right. Yeah, that's cl you're quite close in age. <laughs> yes. Um, as well as being quite close. Ah, absolutely. Very nice use of, <laughs> use of close there. Those are the two yeah. ways we could use. Okay. Mm. And nice. here now we're just going to do a second role play to show you the other vocabulary. So, hi, Hannah. How are you doing today? Hi, Rob. I'm really well, thanks. How are you? What have you been up to? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, recently, I've been spending quite a lot of time with my in-laws. Oh, right. How many in-laws do you have? Oh, my, I have lots and lots. Um, so my wife, she's part of a, a very big family. So I have a mother and a father-in-law. I have many 
cousins-in-law. I've got, I don't know, three, four aunts-in-law, wow. four or five <laughs> uncles-in-law. In so many, I, I lose count quite a lot. Wow. I don't have any in-law. Oh, no, that's not true. I have a brother-in-law. Oh, okay. So my sister is married, so her husband is my brother-in-law. Understood. And are you are you close with your with your brother-in-law? Yes. <laughs> Quite close. Well, we don't see each other very often, so we don't know each other very well these days. But Understood. um but yeah, my sister lives in the US. Oh. So yeah. I got it's it. diff- difficult to spend time together. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Nice. Um, One thing I just wanted to say about um, in-laws is when we talk about them in the group, like Rob said earlier, we put the stress on in, in in-laws. But when we use it as part of a word like brother-in-law or mother-in-law or father-in-law, we don't stress in. Um, We we stress the... um, the the word like mother or father like that father-in-law sister-in-law but if we're just saying the group it's in-laws the in-laws your in-laws yeah okay so today we've looked at the words get on get along with close and in-laws absolutely thank you all for listening and look forward to uh to seeing you in the next podcast Thanks very much, Rob. Bye. Goodbye.